Hi everyone, I'm Peter. In this video, I'm going to talk about the RSA algorithm and how to implement it in Python and how you can program your own small version of the RSA algorithm. The RSA algorithm was invented some years ago by three very smart people um, named Rivest, Shamir and Abraman, hence the name RSA. And it is used by computers to encrypt and decrypt messages. It's called an asymmetric cryptographic algorithm because there are two pairs of keys, namely the public key and the private key. The public key can be given to everyone and is used to encrypt the message. And the private key is, as the name says, private and is used to decrypt a message. Now, Enjoy this video. How does RSA encryption works? You have two persons, Kiki and Peter, and Kiki wants Peter to send her an encrypted message. In order to do so, she sends Peter the public keys of the encryption algorithm. Peter now, he writes a message, can be a mail, can be a letter, can be a Word document, and after he has written that message, he encrypts that message. He encrypts it using the encryption key, which is a part of the public keys. So now the message has been encrypted. He now sends that message back to Kiki. So Kiki receives this encrypted message. And now Kiki has the decryption key, which he can use to decrypt that message and read the original message. This is, in short, how RSA encryption works. Now, let's go over to an example. In our example, we're going to use public key 5 and 14 and private key 11 and 14 to encrypt and decrypt messages. And the message we are going to decrypt, we're going to make it easy, will be the letter B. And as B is the second letter in the alphabet, we're going to take value to. First thing is encrypt the message. The encryption uses the following formula. The encrypted message will be the original message to the power of the encryption key mod the second part of the public key. So 14. So in our case it's 2 to the power of 5 modulo 14 is 32 mod 14 so n will be the leftover of when you divide 32 by 14 so it will be 4 and as 4 is the you know, number 4 and we take the fourth letter of the alphabet so our decrypt, encrypted message will be the letter D. Now we're going to decrypt it. Decryption uses almost the same formula. The decrypted message M will be the encrypted message to the power of the decryption key modulo 14. So in our case it's 4 to the power 11 mod 14. You can take your calculator, calculate it yourself, but believe me, the result will be 2. And you take the second letter of the alphabet, so the decrypted message is B, which is the same as the original message. So now you see how you can encrypt the message and how you can decrypt the message. Now I'm going to show you how we get to those numbers, the 5, 11 and the 14 of the public key and the private key. Therefore I'm going to delete all this, this one too. This one, okay, delete. So to 
find the public key and the private key we start from two numbers p and q and for this i will take p as 2 and q as 7 p and q must be prime numbers and as high as possible then we take n which is the product of p and q so 2 times 7 is 14 and you see this is the second part of our keys then we're going to use a special function phi from n and phi, uh, phi from n i'm going to show you how you get it and we're going to write all the numbers between 1 and 14 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 um, and here in this series of numbers we're gonna remove all the common factors of 2 7 and 14 because it will be the prime or the cofactors 2 and 7 so um, we're gonna leave 1 because 1 is a common factor of all numbers so 2 and all the even numbers 2 minus 2 because they all share common factors and also 7 so how many numbers are left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 this, this number, number 6 is 5 from an and you don't have to worry, you don't have to write everything down if you use other numbers. Um, some smart people already found the formula for this, and it's p minus 1 multiplied by q minus 1. So in our case, 2 minus 1 multiplied by 7 minus 1 is 6. So now we have all these numbers first thing we will look for is the encryption key the encryption key um, has to meet two conditions the first condition is the encryption key must be bigger than one and smaller than five from one so five from one is six so we can remove the numbers 9 11 and 13 and 1 because it has to be bigger than 1 the second condition it has to meet it has to be co prime with 5 from n and n so co prime with 6 and 40 so it may not share any common factors with 6 so 6 is 2 multiplied by 3 so we can remove the 3 so there is only one number in the list between 1 and 14 that meets all the conditions and that's 5 so the encryption key is 5 so we already found the encryption key and the second part of the private and public key so now we have to look for the decryption key therefore i'm going to remove this one delete it so our decryption key Um, the decryption key 
it has to meet one condition and that is decryption key multiplied by the encryption key mod and excuse me pi and must be one okay now we're gonna check we know e is five so we're gonna write some numbers for d one two three four five six d multiplied by e five ten fifteen twenty twenty five 30 and now the e mod 6 5 is 0 times 6 plus 5 so the leftover is 5 10 um, divide 10 by 6 the leftover will be 4 here 15 is 2 times 6 plus 3. Here 20 is 3 times 6 plus 2. You see a pattern 5, 4, 3, 2. 5 is 25 is 24 plus 1. And here 0. And then for 7 it will be 5 again. 4, 3, blah, 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 blah. So the only number D which make this one work will be the number 5 but as 5 is the same as the encryption key we're not gonna take it we're gonna make the, take the next one in the row which is 11 because when you take the encryption key and decryption key the same it's very very easy to hack it so our decryption key is 11 so we found this number this number and these numbers if you have any more questions about it please put your question in the comments and i will reply to it and now let's go to the next part the fun part program it in python um, we're gonna declare two variables p and q and we're gonna assign them the values 17 and 23 this must be two prime numbers i can write a function to check if these are prime numbers but that you can do yourself um, but p and q must be prime numbers and then we're gonna declare another variable n which is p multiplied by q another one phi which was which p minus one multiplied by q minus one okay these are the variables we're going to use um as we did see in our example we did write the numbers from 1 to 14 and then we removed all the common factors with the other numbers um, the easiest way for me is making them a list and comparing this and removing the numbers from both lists while comparing them so the list of all the numbers we're gonna call list all and we're gonna start with an empty list and we're gonna populate it the numbers from 2 to n we're not gonna take one because one will be removed anyway so this is how we populate it append i puts that number the number i in the list all so 
one will be or two will be the first one three will be the second one blah 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 okay now what we have to do is find all the factors of a given number so let's say the factors from the number eight are two and four so it can be divided by two and by four so we're going to write a function for that so again with uh, a for loop i'm going to call it factors from a given number um it's going to check if a number can be if that number this number here can be divided by one of the numbers in the for loop if it can divide it we're going to put it in the list so in the list we're going to create a new list an empty one and now we're going to start our for loop zero then it means as an integer so we're gonna append it to that list and this is gonna give an error because the first one will be i will be zero and we're gonna multiply and um, divide it by zero so it will give an error so we're gonna start from one okay now we if we have the list we're gonna return that list because we're gonna use it later on return list one hey. and we're gonna use the factors from the number n and the number phi so list n will be all the factors from n and the list phi will be all the factors from the number phi Okay, now this is done. The next thing we have to do is compare both lists and find the co prime of the number n. So, again, for that, we're gonna write a new function and we're gonna call it remove co primes. And this one is gonna use a list because we're gonna compare two lists against each other. So we're gonna run through every number in the list. And check if that number in the list multiplied by another number is a part of list all and if so we're gonna remove it so another for loop in the list all we're gonna remove it okay so we have to do it for the list n and the list five compare it with the list all the original one so remove 
to primes list n and we're also going to remove all the co-primes from phi okay the next step or the next condition the encryption key has to meet was that it has to be between or that it has to be bigger than one and smaller than five from n so again as we have been doing before we create a list so first create a list of all the numbers bigger than one so we're gonna call it list bigger which is an empty list and we're gonna populate it So now we have a list with all the numbers bigger than 5 and now we're going to write a function to remove all the numbers from this list from the list all. Again we're using a list. As we done before, if it's in this list, we're gonna remove it. And we're gonna call this function. And we're gonna use it with list bigger. So we have now programmed both conditions for E. So the list all should be the encryption key. We call it an encryption key. Must be list all. So we're gonna check if this works. Okay. Why did I put one? Peter learned to write so these are all the encryption keys for this public key if you have that in our example 2 and 7 we, let's see what the encryption keys will be it's 5 and now uh, more different thing for the decryption key 
we need to have a formula for that here it is to find the usable formula we can use to find the decryption key in python we have to do some mathematical hocus pocus wizardry abracadabra so we know the condition d has to meet was b multiplied by e mod phi from n must be 1. So this can be written as e This one can also be written as so D multiplied by E is Getting there, D is one plus divided by E, and this factor also can be written differently one plus X times and N divided. By e. So this is the formula we're going to use in our script. So now we have found our encryption key and you let's see how you can find the formula for finding the decryption key. We're going to encode it in Python. So for the encryption key we're going to use the first one, the first number of this list. Now write a function to find the decryption key. which uses the encryption key and make it shorter, it's easier. Okay, here we go again. Uh, we're going to start with i is 1 and we're going to run it until we find a solution for the formula so, i is bigger than 1 or 0 run uh, what was the formula formula was 1 plus phi multiplied by i e and so the correction key is integer Okay, now put the condition. The formula equals zero. Then we have it.
and if not we have to try it again with another number iteration of i so this should give the decryption key show the encryption key is en and the encryption key is Decryption key. Uh, let's run this. So here we see the encryption key is three, the first one, and the decryption key is three hundred uh, two hundred and thirty-five. So let's take the same numbers as in our example. Two and seven, and if we run this. The encryption key is 5, ok. So it can be 11 too and 17, but you see it works. So 13 and 17. Ok, maybe we can put an example in it. And we're going to encrypt a message and then later decrypt it. So what are we going to encrypt? Let's input enter text to encrypt. Hmm. And then we we'll mm. we're gonna call the encrypted message. And therefore we're gonna use a function encrypt using this value. Encrypt using a given value the cipher message will be as you've seen in the example the value to the power of the encryption key oh, yeah, and it was called mods and and we're going to return this value. Um, now let's see. Print. The encrypted message is. Come on. Encrypted message let's run this yeah, and uh, okay I forgot this one so let's take the letter A 
Mm. Okay. I have to put the ASCII code for it. And now run it again. The letter A. Ah, the encrypted message is 54. Okay. And now we can decrypt it. And we're going to call a function decrypt from the encrypted message. And we're going to make a function, write a function for that too. It's almost the same. And decrypt. Decrypted and return decrypted. the same problem as before. This translates uh, from an ASCII code back to um, a letter. So now I'll see if that works. Print decrypted message as And there it works. You see, the letter B has been encrypted to 53. And if we decrypt 53 again using the decryption key, we get the letter B. So this was it. If you have more questions, please let me know in the comment and I answer them as soon as possible. Bye, I'll see you in the next video.